So we've got the Ferris wheel, right, moving in a circular motion. We know, we know that it's 27 meters high. So that's the diameter is 27 meters, right? And you're on the top, boom, here. And your angular position, 75 seconds. What do we know? It also takes 32 seconds for you to do one rotation, right? So if you think about it, if you're traveling 75 seconds, how many rotations are you going to get, right? It's going to be 75 over 32, which gives me 2.34 revolutions. But the question is, what is your angular position? So you go around twice, and you go around a second time, and then you're going to go 0.34. So this is 0.25. So you're going to, it's going to be, you know, your arc length is going to be something like that if I were to sketch it. So what I did is I then took 0 0.34 revolutions, right? And uh, it's asking me to express your answer with degrees. So then what I did is I said that's that revolutions, but in the world of degrees, I then said one revolution is 360 degrees. So you just multiply these two, and you get your angle, okay? Uh, for the second part, it says, what is your speed? Now, speed is your angular speed. No, no, that's speed, so that's going to be your regular speed in meters per second. So what I did is I did C equals 2 pi r, um, that's the circumference of a circle, right, which is 2 times pi. Now, times r, this, this height was 27 meters. So I took 27 over 2, because that's the r, and the 2 is actually canceled, so it's 27 times pi. And I found my uh, meters, so I found the circumference to be 84 meters. And I want to find how far it travels, that's the, so if you're at the edge right here, it's going to be 84 meters in one revolution, right? 84 meters in 32 seconds, because this is one revolution, and you divide that and you get 2.7 meters per second.